Okay, our next presentation by uh, Evangelos on the impact of converter interface renewables on the performance of protection systems. Yes. Can you hear me well? Great. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you for, for the invitation. Um, this is, uh, this is a project, a NEPRI project we have been working uh, a few years now with uh, Ecole Polytechnique Montreal, uh, Jean, Lass, Ilhan uh, uh, and, uh, and others. And we have uh, several tasks in the project, uh, but uh, in this presentation I, I would like just to focus on how we use the EMTPRV models. Uh, it's okay, not good. So, uh, how we use the EMTPRV models, uh, the wind and solar EMTPRV models that uh, Ulas and John and uh, the, his team has developed, have developed, and also uh, the new uh, the new protection library that uh, Jean mentioned and uh, Anri has, uh, has has built. So, the the motivation for the the project, the the EPRI project, is uh, the uh, the. Converter interface renewables, uh, we are talking about type 3 and type 4 wind turbines if you are familiar with, uh, 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 with uh, topologies and, and solar. Uh, they have uh, source circuit contribution characteristics and fold response characteristics that are total, totally different uh, compared to traditional synchronous generators. Um, the, uh, the source circuit contribution is highly affected by uh, the controls, uh, the inverted controls, uh, some of them are uh, proprietary and the, the manufacturers are, are not ver very willing to disclose. Um, another uh, typical characteristic is of, uh, the, that the source circuit currents are, are very close to nominal load currents, so that's a, a big difference compared to traditional classic uh, fault response from single generators. So. Uh, we had um, a lot of uh, feedback from, uh, I'm not sure if you, if you are familiar with EPRI and the EPRI model. Uh, we had a lot of uh, feedback from, uh, from our members, TVA for example, and others that uh, the, there is a need, there was an industry gap of um, uh, accurate protection, uh, accurate models uh, of these devices. Uh, uh, type again wind turbine converter interface renewables type 3, type 4 and, and, uh, um, and solar PV uh, for performing protective relay, uh, relaying settings uh, and uh, coordination etc. Uh, so at the EPRI project one thing we do at the EPRI project is uh, we, we leverage and, and we use the EMTPRV models to understand the uh, contribution and fault response of these devices and then we are building now uh, models in Cape and Aspen and the other phase or domain platforms that the protection engineers are using. But uh, the, the EMTPRV models were, were very useful to, uh, to, uh, to understand the, fault, the, the complex fault response of these, of these devices. Uh, so as I said, uh, we, we use the EMTPRV models that uh, Jean and his team they have developed the Type 3 uh, wind turbine is the one with the double fan detection generator and the partially, convert, uh, partially rated converter uh, which is uh, uh, connected to the rotor of the, of, of the, of the machine. Uh, type 4 wind turbine uh, the, uh, is with the full uh, the single generator and the full converter and then uh, PV models. So um, we use this, uh, this EMT model, EMTP models and um, uh, we use them to understand again the the goal was to understand the fault, uh, the complex fault response characteristics of these devices uh, for, under different scenarios, under different control schemes, uh, uh, etc. Uh, this is just a screenshot showing the, this uh, Type 4 model. Uh, there are two versions of the models, and uh, Ulas knows better than me. You know? So there's the, the switching models that has all the detailed representations of the IGPDs, etc. And then there is an average value uh, version of the models where the, the power electronics are uh, represented with the vol voltage sources, right? So these are the average models. Uh, diff uh, of course, the, the, the switching models are, are, are more detailed and, and uh, they have more, more capabilities, but uh, we concluded that the average models are uh, good enough for the purpose of these studies on, on the protection. Uh, so these are the ones that we are using and they are faster since they are a little bit uh, simpler. 
So these are the ones that we are using for, for the studies that we are doing. Uh, these are the different control structures, very detailed, um, uh, 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 details all, uh, on the, all the controls uh, in, in the wind turbines, uh, etc. Um, something I want to, f to, to emphasize here is that these controls are um, generic uh, control options, as we say, but Jean um, and his team, they are working also, and uh, they are working closely also with manufacturers, so uh, they get feedback from manufacturers, so although these controls are generic, uh, they are quite very close to what actual manufacturers uh, are doing, and uh, we, we are trying to get their blessing uh, of, of these generic models. Uh, and I guess that's part of the scope of the working group, right? Also the, the task force that you have to... Yes, yeah. For, yes. Um, so, for example, the, for, again, for the protection uh, studies and, and purpose of the project we do here, uh, uh, the, the type 4, we see that for, in, for the type 4 wind turbine, the, what is uh, basically affecting and uh, the, the only thing that is affecting the, the, the fault, the fault uh, response of, of this device is the controls of the uh, grid side converter. So, if you, if you go back to the... Uh, uh, to the topology, you see there is the 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 the, the rotor side the sta uh, yeah rotor side converter or the stator side converter and then the grid side converter. So uh, for the type four for the fault response, basically the, the grid side converter is the one that is uh, affecting the the fault response. And um, th there are different options there with respect to the control. Some manufacturers they have. Uh, they have um, the, 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 they basically eliminate the negative sequence contribution. Um, others, uh, so they have decoupled control and they can neither eliminate or uh, they could also um, produce uh, a defined uh, negative sequence. Or um, there's also coupled coupled control control options. Is that so? Um, we focus on that because one of the questions we get from the protection engineers is. Um, for for unbalanced faults, what is the negative sequence contribution of, of these devices? So uh, there is uh, typically it's it's small, but uh, you know that these converters have the capability to do whatever they, they you ask them to do. So if you ask them to, to give uh, a lot of negative sequence, they can. So if you ask the manufacturers to do it, it can't be programmed to do it. But typically it's it's very small. And that's uh, that's different options that we have in the the models are flexible to uh, uh, to, to model that. Uh, these are some representative results of the um, again the results of different faults for uh, uh, different uh, locations of the fault, different uh, in beta fault impedances, um, metallic fault, uh, close or remote uh, faults to the to the machine. Uh, again, different. Uh, you see some different responses uh, with respect to different control schemes. Uh, so, again, you, uh, for those who are familiar with uh, the classical fault response of a synchronous generator, you see it's, it's it's totally different. You can see from type four, for example, there is a very first, a very quick spike at the first half cycle. And then the, uh, the, the, the short circuit current goes to 1.1, 1.2 per unit steady state. So it's, it's totally different um, compared to a single generator. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned again, the fault response depends highly on the, on the converter controls. Uh, there are different control options, uh, voltage control, reactive power control, uh, the fault right through mode. Uh, some countries, for example, uh, Germany or others, they have grid codes on what how the machine should behave during the fault. So they impose specific reactive current, for example, in that curve. Uh, so uh, then we have the power electronic limiters uh, that they to protect the, the power electronic device. They limit the current to 1.2, 1.3 per unit. So all these are uh, are these all all these are taken into account into the models. Um, so uh, that was on, on the first part, on the, on the EMTP on RV model, the wind and solar EMTP RV models. Uh, as I said, the, 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 
the goal of the one of the goals of the EPRI project is to uh, study the impact of these devices um, into the protection system, the performance of legacy protection schemes like distance protection, overcurrent protection, etc. Um, and uh, so we use the we use the, the the relay models in the MTPRV that uh, Henri has built. Actually, uh, the the models started being implemented right as part of uh, the, the, the EPRI project, and then. Um, uh, uh, they are now uh, become very mature and it's, uh, it's ex excellent work. So uh, we are using the, uh, the, the, the models and uh, Henri can, can <laughs> say more details about the, the, the development and the details in the models. They are, they are very, very accurate, detailed and uh, uh, they follow the, basically the, the manufacturers, what they do and it's actually a very accurate representation of uh, how an actual how the actual relay in the hardware is includes all the details, the filters, anti-aliasing filters, the, uh, the the Fourier transform, and the uh, you know computation of the of the phasors. Um, so you can see some some examples here. Um, distance relay is the the typical relay in the uh, relay function, the protection function the tra for transmission systems. Uh, so uh, the again the, the relay models they are following they have all the options that the actual manufacturers relay manufacturers have uh, with um, more circles uh, lens uh, characteristics voltage polarization load encroachment functions etc. So the settings in the relays are basically the same that you see in the settings of in the settings I mean in the MTPRV models are the same that you see in the settings of uh, the actual the actual relay. Uh, this is how it looks uh, uh, with all the functions that Jean was also showing before, and uh, uh, Henri also has added uh, visualization functionalities to and windows to see, uh, you know, trajectories of impedances, etc. Uh, to for and this has been very helpful for for the studies that, that we do. Um, this is the user user interface with the settings. Um, I, again, the, the settings are the same that you see from. Um, uh, from the uh, from the manufacturers, I'm not sure. Uh, is there the capability that if if we get, for example, from from TVA an actual uh, relay uh, data um, uh, record from the relay, can we input that so that the MTPRV can read the settings and load them? Well, that would be a feature. Of the if, okay, yeah. so that's right now yeah. you have to do it manually. Yeah, I think that would be helpful because when we do like case studies with members then they can provide us the actual records from the relays that we get and then we can load them and instead of manually yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and again the uh, the implementation uh, during the development um, Henri and the team they have been following the, uh, the, the the manuals from the manufacturers so they have all all the details that the manu that the manufacturers disclose um, uh, they have in the, in the manuals, and uh, so they are very, very, very detailed, and very accurate. Um, so uh, this was uh, a quick just description of uh, of the uh, EMTPRV models. Um, uh, going back to the uh, what we do, what is the purpose of, of the EPRI project? Again, is to um, evaluate the performance of the uh, legacy protection schemes and basically provide guidelines to the protection engineers on uh, what things should be considered when they perform the protection studies and uh, re relay setting and relay mis coordination studies. Uh, so uh, one thing we, we, we studied was the performance of the distance, distance protection uh, functionality. So we, uh, we built benchmark systems uh, and we um, examine different scenarios. For example, the first one shows a, a, a configuration where we, you have a line and then you, there's a, a, wind, a wind farm that is uh, tapped uh, in, the, in, in the middle of the line or somewhere else. So in that case, um, we expect that the distance relay, zone one of the distance relay will, uh, will under it. And we were examining uh, how uh, how much will be that under it? Um, in the second configuration, we, th we have a similar configuration, but in that case, we have also protection. So we have relays at the top, 
So in that case, uh, it's the zone 2 and zone 3 that are going to under it. And then we did some sensitivity analysis and uh, we investigated the performance of the uh, relay with respect to um, different, uh, different types of uh, wind, like in wind type 3, uh, wind turbines type 3 or type 4, what are the differences, uh, fault location, fault type, uh, strength of the system, uh, what is the underage for strong or, or weak systems, etc. So we did that sensitivity analysis and some of the key findings are summarized there and these are the kind of guidelines that we provide uh, to the, the protection engineers, for example, that uh, if, uh, if, going back to the diagram again, so you have a transmission line and you tap the line and you put uh, the farm there, if instead of a farm you had a synchronous generator, um, you, the, the, the synchronous generator, the under it uh, with the synchronous generator is, is larger. Uh, so, uh, because the wind and solar, uh, the, 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 lim the, the current, the source circuit current is limited, then the under it is, 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 is also lower. So, if, uh, and that's a typical practice now, if in the protection engineering world, uh, since they, they don't have detailed models of wind and solar, what they do is that they just use a single generator model as a first, as a, as a simple approximation, and they do the settings, etc. Now, if they don't consider this fact, then the, the, the settings will be, will be wrong. For the, uh, they, they will not consider that under it. So, this is the, the kind of uh, examples and guidelines we, we provide through the, through the project. Um, again, uh, the other findings that uh, the under it also uh, depends on the... We saw that the, the lar there is a larger error for or the larger, uh, smaller, and larger under it for type 3 versus type 4 and of course uh, uh, larger error for weak systems compared to strong system, to, uh, uh, yes, to, uh, systems with uh, high source circuit strength so that's, that was expected but uh, we confirmed with, uh, with the simulations and finally the, uh, what we are investigating now is the performance of the um, uh, system for power swings, uh, out of step tri tripping, out of, out of step blocking, etc. So uh, we are building some benchmark systems and uh, uh, to try to investigate again uh, what is the how the uh, the relays would uh, perform for systems again with uh, high levels of renewables and what are the differences compared to present practices and present configurations with most of the synchronous generators. So I think that was, yes, the last slide. Um, again, yeah, any uh, questions? This is a very interesting presentation, thank you. I, I was curious, have you, have you looked at all at the influences of the relay protection as it relates to the harmonic current injection of the turbine converters and so forth? Uh, it's, any, it's in... The relays are only looking fundamental and... Yes. Uh, it's it's in the list to so we uh, as part of the project we started you know investigating every protection function so we started with the distance protection and uh, now we are in the out of state tripping etc and the overcurrent protection uh, we, we we plan also to, to investigate the harmonics one thing we uh, we we are uh, thinking of is the for the transformer the for the, in the in, in the currents and the, the the harmonic blocking that they do. Uh, if these harmonics are from the from the wind or solar instead of an inrush current, there might be some uh, misoperation then of there of the of the relay because uh, it might mistakenly block uh, you know some harmonics, uh, thinking that they are from an inrush current. Well, and it might be from the wind, something like that. So it's it's in the plans to yes to investigate that too. Yeah, one one thing. And I'll talk about <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Well, we can uh, consider it in the yeah. The, the CTs that are developed include magnetization, right? So you can also do that. Uh, so yeah, the models have the capability, yeah. right? Yeah. Able. Yeah, Uh, 
like a, a benchmarking? Uh, well, we have we, we try to validate the models. Uh, we we have some data from uh, NREL that we are working now with uh, Thomas and others to try to see uh, the 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 measurements that we have from the EPRI lab. Uh, you know very well from uh, the, the the inverters that over there. The, these are 1547 inverters, and they have basically they don't have the control options that we use in these utility scale applications. So uh, we are not using those, but we are working with, um, we're trying to collect actual fault response measurements from uh, different members to try to validate. Uh, actually, we are working with TVA and, and uh, we, we got some, uh, there was an event uh, close to a solar plant, but it happened at midnight, so the solar was not uh, producing. So we could we couldn't use the data, but we are we are waiting to see if uh, we are working with others, and uh, we probably have some from Dominion. So Dominion said that they have they have some that they will, will provide. So it's it we are working. Yes, um, just one uh, comment. Uh, in Ontario. said this is something that we started a few weeks ago so we don't have any results yet but that's a good uh, thing and suggestion for us to, to consider. Theo uh, from TVA who will uh, present the EMTPUs to evaluate high order harmonics issue at chemical plants. 